Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more program in Python to find whether the given string is isogram or not. Isogram. So first let us check what is about this isogram and how uh, when we call the string as an isogram. So consider one string and if this string contains no duplicate characters, no duplicates, so then we can call this string as an isogram, no duplicates. For example, if the string is equal to hello. So you can observe L is repeated two times. So this is not a isogram. For example, one more take and one more example. So Python, Python. So here you can see all are the individual characters. There is no duplicate. So this we call it as an isogram. Now how to uh, write the logic to find this isogram so there are two ways in python so coming to this python we are having a set function which can remove the duplicates which can remove a uh, duplicates so one thing we can do to find this isogram so first find out the length of a string and length of set of a string right so if you apply this length, we'll get the total length of the string. And if you apply this one, length of set of string. So say when you pass the string as a parameter to the set, it will remove the duplicates and in, in, it will give the length here. So for example, here the length, the length of str is some uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. So if you apply the same thing to the set function and if you apply the length function, so we'll get only 4. So we can compare these two things so that if they are not equal that implies there is a duplicate and coming to here this one so length of str is uh, 6 and length of set of str is again 6 both are equal that implies there are no duplicates in this particular string so this is one way we can find the isogram the second way is we can simply iterate each and every element of a string so this is one way and i will tell you the second way so iterate everything so for character in str so find out the character in str so here uh, give the count we are having the string uh, count method in a string which will count the number of occurrences so here you can see so if str dot uh, count of uh, character character greater than one okay greater than one simply you can break it simply you can break it that means the count of characters should be only one because it should not have the duplicates if you are having any duplicates in the given string this this method will be having the value which is greater than one so that implies if this count is greater than one simply we can break the loop because the character is repeated that means a duplicate is existed so that implies that string is not an isogram. So the isogram means if the given string has a no duplicates, that kind of strings we call it as an isogram. So hope you understood the two methods how we can find the isogram. One is by using the set function, another one by using this count method. Count method. So we'll see the implementation on the system. So let's move on to the interpreter. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the logic to find whether the string is an isogram or not. So in that we have seen the two ways how can we find that. So one is by using the set function. So we need to apply the set function for the string so that if there are any duplicate characters automatically the duplicates will be removed if you apply the set function. So we can find out or we can compare the length before applying the set function and after applying the set function. So that if both are equal that implies there are no duplicates in the string. So obviously the string will be the isogram. And the second method, so iterating each and element of a string and finding the count of that particular element. So element means a character. So if any one of the character count is greater than one, that implies there is a duplicate and it's not an isogram. So we'll see both the methods in this uh, video. So first let us take the string str is equal to input of 
enter string so first we'll enter the string by using the input function then we'll apply the length function so we have to compare the length of a string before applying the set function and after applying the set function so set of str so set of str means it will remove the duplicates and it will finding the length and if both are equal we can simply print uh, str is a isogram else simply we can say it's not an isogram str is not a isogram right so this is how we can find uh, whether it is an isogram or not for example if you consider the first string as hello so you can see l is repeated so we should get it's not an isogram and if you execute this one and if you give a python so here there is no duplicate character so this will be an isogram so just a second so so python is an isogram right so if there are duplicates for example programming so it's again duplicate so it's not an isogram right hope you understood this first method second method by using the count so first we'll take the string and iterate this one ch in str and find out the count of this one so if the count sorry str dot count of ch ch is greater than one is greater than one so simply we can initialize the flag as one so initially uh, consider the flag as zero flag is also a variable right so flag as one and uh, simply break because we did not uh, iterate for the next iterate for the next character because if any one of the character count is greater than one simply we can say it is not a isogram so here find out the flag based upon the flag value we can get it so if flag is equal to is equal to zero so that implies we can say string is an isogram and else simply we can print it as str is not an isogram so one first method is to find out the set function so finding the length of the set of string that means applying this uh, string as a set so that duplicates will be removed and finding the length and here we are just iterating each and every character of a string and we are finding the count of the that particular character if any one of the character count is greater than one simply we can break the loop and directly the flag is set to one and uh, automatically this else part will be executed so it's not an isogram you, if you execute this one so first let us give hello so hell is cap l is repeated so we'll get hello is not an isogram and simply go with this one python so python is an isogram see so if you go with this one programming so programming is not an isogram so if you go with a one any other thing keyword keyword is an isogram because keyword doesn't have any repeated characters right so hope you understood this one so if the string doesn't have any duplicates that particular string we call it as an isogram so this is a simple way to find whether the string is an isogram or not so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section or to my whatsapp number definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much